Good evening and thank you for being with us. I'm Cordell Wright. This week is homecoming or Cougar Days at the University of Sioux Falls and the school is celebrating 140 years. At the same time, a staple program at the school is celebrating a milestone of their own. Parker Brown has our top story tonight. Not only was it homecoming, but today was a special reunion for the University of Sioux Falls choir program celebrating 115 years of singing together. Current students and alumni from as early as the class of 1966 spent Saturday morning rehearsing. It gave Susan Jump and Judy Oldert the chance to reconnect. We were roommates. Freshmen, you know, got the letter that said, Judy, meet your roommate. <laughs> roommates who both met their future husbands on campus and both sang in the choir. Seeing the positive growth and the future of the University of Sioux Falls. I think that is, that is so exciting. To see new buildings, new students, the enthusiasm of the students who are here, the, the growth and just how God has blessed this place. Things may have changed, yet they saw how things have stayed the same too. They sang alongside generations from the same program. Or music, what else is there in life, right? The thrill of doing that today with the students and the alum is just over the top, I love it. The choir director, known as Dr. DK to his students, has been at USF since 2006. It was a rewarding day for him to lead the group. He reminisced about the piece of the program's 115 years that he got to play a part in. I've heard them sing. They've been through auditions. We've traveled together across this nation and across the globe. As I look through these passionate faces who are performing from the heart, I'm just imagining we were in Florence together, we were in Paris, in Prague, or New York City or Los Angeles. It just touches my heart. Sharing memories and the gift of music in a program that has meant so much to so many. Hopefully the legacy that has been created within this choral program sustains people, not only drawing them closer to each other, but drawing them closer to God. And that is why we do what we do. In Sioux Falls, Parker Brown, Dakota News Now. Questions?